Ethan Jane. Hi, Emma. Hello. Hi, how are you? All right, thank you. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you too. Did you have a good one? Yes, thank you. Yeah, good, lovely. Yeah. I think Emma's coming in as well. Just yeah, just loading. Have you done anything nice today? Um, just walk to Bath Road and back. Um, yeah. Just just mooching around here. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good, lovely. Back to work tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Hi, Emma. How are you? Hello. I'm all right. Hey. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Happy New Year to you. And to you. Yep. Yeah. You. You're a bit dark for some reason. <laughs> you had a good day? Yeah, I've been out walking most of the day. Oh, cool. Making oh, the most of it not raining. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Feel it, so you're feeling nice and refreshed. Yes. Yeah, cool. Um, so is there anything that you want out of um the next session? It's probably just moving so that I don't stiffen up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Shoulder yeah. a bit. Shoulders, yep. Yeah. yeah. Is, is it sore or stiff? Just kind of in, in there, the back yep. of it. Okay. Yep. Okay. Brilliant. Lovely. So, um, if you wouldn't mind muting yourselves, and then just give give us a thumbs up if the music's okay for you. Just um, waking ourselves up a little bit. Do do do. Can you hear that? Cool, lovely. Brilliant. So let's um, start off on our feet. Let's just bring our feet nice and wide to get a bit of a shrug of the shoulders and let's just breathe in. Let's get some oxygen into those lungs and then breathe out lower down. And again, breathe in to lift and breathe out to lower. Cool, a couple more. Nice. So keep dropping the shoulders down from the ears each time the arms lower. And let's take a bit of a shuffle side to side. Take a, a wriggle out of the fingers and the wrists. Take a circle of it, feels good. And then shake the arms up high. And then bring them down low. Good. And again, bring them up high. And then down low. Cool. So let's take a circling of the wrists and at the ankles. They so gently find in that balance. And then reverse. Cool. Pulling up through the middle, nice long spine, thinking about posture right from the start. And change legs. Cool. <laughs> this is a bit dodgy today. And then switch and reverse. Had one of those days where you just eat everything that's left, everything that you need to get rid of. <laughs> so I feel a bit bloated, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> and then shake again, so breathing in to lift the arms up, and then breathing out to lower down. And again. Ah, one more. So this time let's take the feet wide, breathe in to lift up, draw the belly button in, breathe out to reach over the side. Let's take a bend of the knees, drop it forwards, and breathe in, lift up to the other side. Cool, and again, bend the knees, chin to chest, and reach, go again. Lovely, good, just keep it moving in a way, way that feels good for your body. Rounding that back. And one more each side. Lovely. Let's cut the arms forward, take a bend in the knees, round the back, and then open back. Breathing out, and breathing in to open. Ooh. So on the next one, bringing it forwards, we're gonna um, bring the palms together, tuck the chin to chest, and pull those shoulders away from each other. So reach the fingertips far away from the top of your head start to stretch out those shoulders and let's go again so opening back and then breathing taking it forwards a 
Lovely. Oh, and the next one, we're going to bring the hands to the thighs and take a cat stretch up. See, so feet underneath your hips. Tuck chin to chest, round the back. And let's open back with the arms. Bring the palms to the small of your back. Open up your chest. Squeeze elbows towards each other. Feel those collarbones widen. Great. And let's take a bit of a swing from side to side. Licking over one shoulder and then the other. Warming up the spine. Good. And let's take the feet directly underneath the hips. Taking those swings down, bending the knees as you come forwards. And then growing taller, reaching palms to the ceiling as you reach up. Breathing out and breathing in. So feel the air brush against your face on the way down. And feel tension, leave that upper body. Feel the energy come in and let go of any negativity, any tension. Good. On the next one, let's hold it down and wiggle the feet wider. Let's either hands to the floor or maybe cup the elbows. And take a really gentle swee uh, swing either with bent knees or straight. Whatever's feeling good for you today. And we're going to bring the hands to the floor if you can. I'm just going to take a little walk out of the hips. So feet are wider than the hips. So we're just bending one leg and then the other. One leg and then the other. And then as you start to feel warmer, bring the feet slightly closer in together. Maybe hip distance if that feels okay. And then one leg and then the other. And we're going to walk the feet further away from us and come into a downward dog if it feels okay. If it's too much gene, then we can stay in that forward fold there so the weight is in the legs rather than through the arms as well. So taking that downward dog. Eye gaze towards your navel and pushing through the whole of the hand. Spread the fingers wide. Just take a moment to just be. So concentrating on those shoulders, all we're going to do is maybe bend um, one leg and take a look under the opposite armpit. Bend the other leg, take a, take a look under the opposite armpit. So you should feel a little bit more stretch there through the shoulders. Hopefully feeling good. And walk the hands back towards the feet. And we'll take some roll-ups. So feet directly underneath the hips, tuck the chin towards the chest, bend the knees, rolling up through the spine, letting everything go heavy there. Shoulders up, back and down at the top and lift the chest. Back the other way. Chin to chest, roll down, getting each vertebrae as you lower and relax fully at the bottom. And again, breathing in. Shoulders up, back and down, open the chest and go again. So this time we're going to add the arms. So bringing the arms up the side, bend the knees, inhale to lift. Palms meet at the top. Wiggle the feet together. Let's squeeze and take a baby back bend. Breathe out, bring the hands through the midline and lower down at the bottom. One more, breathe in. Squeeze the butt, lengthen the spine. Baby back bend from the bottom of the shoulders and breathe out, forward fold. Really sit down. So feet come hip distance apart. And this time we're going to bring the hands maybe to the shins, maybe to the thighs and take a long flat back. So straight line from um, coccyx to the top of your head. And if you wanted a little bit more, we'll reach the arms away from the shoulders. Keep pulling belly button in and breathe out, relax it down. Take a moment at the bottom there. That's it. So just let the body hang. Just going to de-layer. 
and we'll come into a bit more yoga. Um, so this one, I think we did it last week. So we're going to come into warrior one. So it's different to warrior two because we're going to face the front foot. So we face, face the front foot and bring the back foot in towards us. So hips and shoulders square the side. And we're just going to concentrate on opening your chest again. So arms come wide, belly button pulls in and we reach forwards, rounding the top of the shoulders and then breathe out, reach it back, open in the chest. Breathing out, come forwards, and then breathing in, open back. So you want to always squeeze that back butt cheek. That's going to help you balance and help activate those glutes. And on the next one, we're going to bring it forwards, and we're going to shift our weight forwards to that front foot, taking the back foot off when you're feeling steady, and opening your wings behind you. So long, strong, straight back leg, Focusing your eye gaze on a spot. Energy out through back, big toes. And from there, we're just going to take a lunge. So drop that back foot down and square hips and shoulders to the side. So just holding it there to find that stretch um, in your quads, in your psoas muscle. So that's really nice to stretch off because that helps release your lower back. So that might be nice for you Emma after last week and then we're just going to bring the hands behind us and open up the chest again so palms to the small of the back elbows squeeze towards each other open up your chest you can always use your stick for this one if you need to to help you balance and then let's drop that back knee down to the floor and come into a hip flexor stretch um, so this one various options with your arms either hands to the floor, hands to your thigh, or maybe um, opposite arm to front leg can lift high if you wanted a little bit more, or more again, both arms lift high. So I'm just going to twist myself around so you can see. And then if it feels okay, we're going to take a bit of a C shape. So squeeze your butt, push forwards, that opposite arm to leg, we're going to C shape it over the side to create more stretch down the side of the body there. Great. Ah, let's lower the front hand down and then um, we're just going to reach back, same arm as front leg, taking a twist, pushing the floor away with your underneath hand. Sit your bottom back towards your heel and stretch into your hamstrings in front. So reach fingers forwards either side of your front leg. And then let's bring that front leg round, join the knees together, and we're going to come into camel pose. So either hands at the small of the back, you can take one hand to heel and the other arm lifts high, or both hands back to heels. Lift the chest, squeeze the butt, wherever feels good. So option always to come back to that slightly higher position. So just tuck the chin slightly so it feels a little bit more comfortable for your neck. You don't want to drop it all the way back unless it feels okay. And then let's sit our bottom back towards our heel and come into child's pose. So reach the arms forwards, relax the forehead down to the floor. Take a wriggle into those hips. Use yourself a little bit in the music. And then let's slowly come up. And we'll start again on the other side. <laughs> if I can remember it all. So step one leg forwards, the other leg goes back. So front knee above ankle, squeeze your back butt cheek and then lift those arms away from your shoulders. So we reach forwards, breathing out and then breathing in to open back, lifting chest and eye gaze and again. Lovely couple more. 
So on this next one, let's come forwards and shift our weight forwards to that front foot. Find your balance and when you're feeling steady, lift that back leg and open your wings. Keep squeezing that back butt cheek. See if you can lift your leg any higher. Strong through that back leg. Great. And then lower your back heel down to the floor. Let's come into a lunge. So brace the core, hands to the small of the back and open up the chest there. See if you can drop that back knee any lower to create a bit more stretch for those hip flexors. And then when you're feeling ready, let's drop that back knee down to the floor. Great, so hands here, 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 or here. So facing forward to begin with. And then when you're feeling ready, let's breathe in to lift and then breathe out to C-shape over the side. Keep dropping shoulders, breathing into it. Opposite hand to front leg comes down to the floor. Same arm as front leg, twist back and we reach. From there, we're gonna sit our bottoms back towards our heels and lean in over that front leg. To that camel pose. So knees underneath your hips, squeeze your butt, either hands to the small of your back, one hand to heel, both hands to heels, whichever feels okay. So if you had one arm up last time, then go for the other this time. Let's bring that body forwards again. One more time into that child's pose, reaching the arms forwards, forehead to the floor. Creep those fingertips further away from you, create more of a stretch in those shoulders. Slowly come up again to a forward fold. So feet underneath the hips, weight forwards into the balls of the feet. And that will create a little bit more stretch down the back of the legs. Maybe a, a no and a yes with the head. And then again, let's take a... Um, Forward fold, so either hands to shins or hands to thighs. Flat back extension. For a little bit more, reach those hands away from body. You should really feel it there. Sometimes you might feel it a little bit more on your calves with your arms away from you. Ah, let's drop down, bending the knees, letting everything go. This time, great big in breath, breathing in through the nose as you lift. And breathe out, shake and release the arms, release the shoulders. And let's come up to our feet. So feet are nice and wide. If you want to grab a quick sip of water, then do. Turn the radiator off. Bring them out. Lovely. So um, let's bring the feet nice and wide. Turn the legs out. Cutting the circulation off here. <laughs> and let's just tuck the tailbone under, just come down, bringing the arms forwards, taking a nice round in through them, softening the elbows and soft wrists and fingers. So let's take um, some pulses down for seven and up for one. So seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and lift. Go again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This time add the arms. Seven, six, five, four, through the middle, and again. Four, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rise up. So let's take a plie down this time and a lift of the leg. A plie down and a lift of the leg. So turn in the leg out from the hip, point your foot, and see if you can use those inner thighs to lift the legs up rather than the thighs on top. Those quads. So same as before, brick wall in front, brick wall behind. So you can only take yourself directly down to the side and lift that leg up directly to the side. Cool. And let's bring the feet parallel, bring them directly underneath the hips. So this time, one squat down, one flex, and lift your leg behind you. So this one, we want to feel it activate those hamstrings, those glutes. So if you do this one um, at home by yourself, you can always wrap your band round if you've got time to kind of tie it in a knot. That'll add an extra bit of tension. Fire up those glutes and hamstrings a little quicker. you finish it off evenly and shake let's come into a balance so let's come into eagle pose so right leg over left leg to the floor or wrap it around your calf so draw your belly button in right arm under left arm wrap it round fingertips to palms or palms to palms in now to lift the arms up exhale to draw elbows in so Hopefully, Jean, you should feel this one where you wanted to. Lovely, nice. Keep bending that supporting leg. See if you can drop your hips back any lower. Feel more of a stretch um, in those calves and those Achilles. Especially if you've been walking lots today, Emma. And then switch it over. So left leg over right, left arm under right arm. Inhale to find space between those shoulder blades and exhale, come into it. Chin to chest, round the shoulders. Can you sit any lower into those legs? Bend in more, sit in your butt back. And release up. Take it and then grab um, your band if you've got one. Cool. So let's do a little bit of um, bicep. So feet underneath the hips, uh, knuckles facing in towards you, shoulders back, chest is open. So just lifting um, one hand up towards your shoulder and isolating the upper arm. So belly button in, shoulders back, ribs stacked on top of hips. Making sure that you've got enough tension in that band to make sure you're definitely getting a workout. And let's stick with eight on the one side. Great. Hinge in from that elbow. Shoulders stay back. And switch sides when you're ready. Once you take an eight, let's release off. 
Let's double our band over and come into some tricep work. So wriggling the hands towards each other, elbows pointing away from each other and opening those arms and back in. Opening those hands, sorry. And back in. Cool. Again, we're trying to isolate both of the upper arms. Movement comes from the elbow. Twisting that top shoulder back. And let's switch sides. Cool. So reset, open up the chest and take it when you're ready. looking strong again make sure that you've got enough um, tension in that band to give your workout and release when you're ready so grab a sip of water if you want one and we'll come into one more balance so let's come into tree pose so shift your weight onto your right foot and then take your left foot either to ankle, to calf or above the knee to your thigh. So plant your feet into the floor. Those are your roots. Pull up through your trunk. Push that knee wide and then just bring your hands together to your heart centre. So slight bit of energy through the palms. Slight bit of energy through the shoulders behind you. And really still, really grounded. So option one is to stay there. Option two is to grab hold of the thigh from underneath. Opening the chest and bringing the other arm wide. And then if you are feeling steady, let's extend the leg at the knee. If you're not feeling steady, let's give it a go anyway. And lift. Let's take that leg and take it either um, across it above the ankle, under the knee or above the knee. And then sit your bottom back and we'll come into a standing figure of four stretch. So this might be quite nice for you, Emma, if you've been walking lots today. A little stretch out of the glutes. Flex the top foot, push the knee down. And let's change it over. So tree pose to begin with on the other side. Ankle, calf or thigh, but not against the knee. So drawing belly button in, bringing hands together, relaxing those shoulders. <clears throat> and then when you're feeling ready, let's Grab hold of the thigh, use the other arm to help you balance, focus your eye gaze, and when you're feeling ready, extend up. So just find whichever level feels okay for you today. And release it down. So let's come down onto the floor, onto our backs. So fingertips um, to temples and elbows are wide. We're going to lift up for one, twist across opposite hand to leg, fingertips to temples, and then lower down and go again. So lift up, twist across, back to the center, lower down. Lift up, twist across, center, and lower. Good. 
and let's change it. So fingertips still to temples. We're going to twist across opposite elbow to knee. So either keeping both legs bent or one leg bent and one leg extends. Breathing in for two twists and breathing out for two twists. Let's find a little bit, something a little bit more cheerful. So keep going. Is that more cheerful? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so finish it off evenly and let's bring the legs up um, directly above our hips. Either palms to the ceiling and thumbs up or hands to the small of the back. So we're going to bend one leg and extend the other and then both legs back up and then the other side. Bend one leg, lengthen the other. So to make it easier, don't drop the legs quite as low down towards the floor. Point those feet then we start talking and always thinking about printing those shoulder blades down into the floor and by rotating those thumbs outwards that's going to help open up the chest make sure that those help, um, shoulders are open and down Great. So let's take four more. Three. Two. And one. Rest off of second. So knees in towards your chest. Option to take nose up towards your knees. And then we're going to bring the palms up towards the ceiling again. And we're going to take some reverse crunch. So I don't think we've done these before. So all you do is um, squeeze the middle and just going to lift the bottom, your bottom off the floor. Just so that we can activate those lower abs. Just a little small move, making sure it's the core that's doing the work. Try not to, to swing the legs. Wait. A couple more of those. Let's go for three more, actually. Three, two, and one. And rest off. Feet to the floor, palms to the floor as well. Let's squeeze up into a shoulder bridge and gently lower back down, rolling through the spine. Breathing in to lift and breathing out to lower. Palms into the floor. And the heels too. So on the next one, let's hold it up. And we're just going to take a walk with the feet. So right foot goes forwards, and then left foot. Right foot comes back, and then left foot. So really small move. Option, if this is too much, is to hold that plank, uh, hold that shoulder bridge, sorry, upwards. It's nice and steady. If not, take that walk. And when you're ready, change your leading leg. So you keep nice and high with the hips and pelvis. Nice and steady with the feet. And lower down when you're ready. Option, tuck nose towards your knee again. And then we're coming onto the side. <clears throat> um, Jean, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It, would a side plank be okay for your shoulder? Yeah, cool. Oh, look, lovely. So bring your elbow underneath your shoulder and your um, either come onto the side of your knee or if you wanted to make it a little harder, side of the foot, or you can take a scissor or you can lift that top leg off. So a couple of variations there. So lifting up, reaching fingertips towards the sky, opening your chest. I had a dream about keep a breathing, keep lifting. Next one I choose to trust. I hope I use some You can either take your eye gaze up towards the top hand or if that's too much, take it towards the floor. A lovely job. Relax down, swing the legs around to the other side. And let's take it there. So elbow underneath your shoulder. 
filling in and lifting up. Let's lower down, let's come into a normal plank, front facing. So elbows underneath your shoulders and come onto either the knees or the toes. So shoulders back, chest open, squeeze the butt. Breathing into it. Seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax down. Let's reverse it. Come into um, child's pose. So let's take a wide leg child's pose this time. So feet a little wider, knees nice and wide. Reach fingers away from you. It feels good. Take a wiggle into your hips. Um, has everybody got a ball? If not a ball, you can always use a wall. So we're just going to take a pec stretch or door frame. So um, just bring in one foot forwards, one foot behind you. Um, elbow at shoulder height and just leaning into it, opening the chest there. And when you're ready, switch sides. So sometimes if you spend long, long time um, sat at the desc, then your um, chest can become, become, become tight and your shoulders slightly rounded. So you want to keep opening, working to open up the chest. Let's clasp the hands together behind us and then push the knuckles down towards the floor, open up the chest and shoulders there. And if you've got a roller, grab it. And let's do a, a bit of mobilization for the back. So, um, Taking it either underneath your bra strap to begin with or above. And we'll work the other way in as we go. So fingertips to temples and then just opening back and back up. So bracing the core. Let the elbows drop wide to open up that chest. Great. This one always makes me feel a bit sick, <laughs> especially after <laughs> everything that I've eaten today. <laughs> Great. Cool. And then just adjust it as you go. So either higher up or lower down. seconds on that one. And let's come into our surrender stretch. So um, spine in the center of your roller. And arms shoot out from your shoulders if you want to use a weight. Maybe some ankle weights, maybe some bottles of water, or just using yourself. So we're not 
not just bringing about a change in the body. We're working here to bring about a change in, in our minds, feeling really open, feeling really ready to let go of tension. Ready to welcome in a little bit of change. Can you melt those shoulders either side of your roller? I am still me. You are still Targeting a little bit more of that tension. In the same place. Breathing in. Breathing Isn't out. Let your shoulders melt either side of your roller. And again, breathing in. Breathing out, drop further. Maybe wriggle hands further away. And let's just come on to um, our bottoms. <laughs> so, shuffling the fleshy part of your bottom cheek back, opposite our hand to ear. Grab across, other fingers reach away from you and just find a little bit of a pull there through the, through the neck. And then chin to chest and then take it the other way. And let's bring one arm across our body and then hook with the other underneath Isn't arm. Bring it across and then take a look over your shoulder. So you should feel a nice stretch there in the back of the shoulder. And switch. Hook. And look, pull across. And shooting the legs to a wide V. Reaching forwards with that upper body. Wriggling to your stretch. And let's come up. Let's breathe in, twist towards your left leg and then reach over the top stretch and melt down the static from the TV keeps me company till I'm gone because oh, I rock back and forth and walk no no let's lift up lift up so breathe in to lift and then breathe out reach over the top I swear I've been doing fine when I'm busy and got things going on what's the go you running from or maybe there's something in the midnight house, the midnight house, you know. And another one for those um, shoulders. So let's slowly come up to our feet. Turn your feet out nice and wide. Hands to your thighs and then drop one shoulder in. Push that thigh away and take a twist. And then drop at the shoulder and twist the other way. And bring feet and parallel, breathe in to lift shoulders away from arms. Let's slide across and then reach over once more. So coming further over than we did at the start. Top shoulder back. And back to the center, bend the knees, let the head go. Everything goes floppy. Breathe in to lift. And breathe out, reach back the other way. Ah, let's take a sit down onto our bottoms and shoot both legs out in front of you. So shift butt cheeks back so you've got your sit bones 
breathe in to lift up and then breathe out let's forward fold option if you wanted to you can always wrap your band around your feet or if you're happy there just hold on to those feet pull your chest closer down towards your thighs nose to knees or shins And let's breathe in again. Inhale to grow taller through your spine and exhale. See if you can come further over. And let's take a lie down onto our backs and take a surgeon of those hips. So hold on to your knees. Let's take five circles outwards and then five inwards. Keep breathing into it. And shoot feet away from hips. Uh, maybe drop one or both legs down. Either hold from on top or support from underneath. Uh, let's take happy baby pose. So grab and hold of the feet, either from the outside or the inside. Push the knees down. Take a little wriggle into these hips and full body stretch so lengthen the legs away from the arms reach away and let's hug in reward our body for its hard work Let's come into a bit of relaxation. So nice, cosy positions. We'll slow it down. <clears throat> so today, let's just get into any position that feels good for you. Any position where you feel like your body can rest. Where we can start to take the focus from outwards. And let's just draw that focus in, in towards our minds, in towards what we're doing with our breath. So notice any sensations that your body might be feeling. Any little areas of your body that are still calling out to you. Just readjust now so that you really are as comfortable as you can be. Softly close those eyelids. And just imagine your eyes dropping a little lower into your body. Release tension in the jaw by relaxing the tongue to the roof of your mouth. You may want to take a, a gentle twist of your head from one side to the other. Often the top of our head, where our neck joins our skull, our occiput is where we can create lots of tension. And it can get stored there. Sometimes it's quite nice to give it a little massage with two fingers but for now let's just relax shoulders down from ears imagining our spines being lengthened our hip 
hips being supported by the floor. And just some long, heavy, relaxed limbs. Fingertips are long and light. And those toes are light and airy. If we need to, let's deepen the breath, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth, relaxing everything off. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So often our bodies can start to feel heavy, especially after the year that we've just had. So let's just take a time just to focus on feeling lighter. So releasing any baggage, any burdens. Coming into the new year with fresh energy. Just a little tweak in mindset can make all the difference. Just feeling grateful for what we do have. And knowing that goals sometimes take time. So just take a few deep breaths to re-energize your body. you're feeling ready, let's sit back into an energized upright position. And if you just unmute yourselves and then we'll just have a little chat. Brilliant. How are you feeling, Emma? Not too bad. I had a cramp in my, the bottom of my foot a couple of times. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing it's just from walking. Walking, yeah. Yeah. Was it, um, which positions were they? Were they? Um, child's pose. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose maybe you, you, you tend to want to maybe curl your feet up a little bit. Maybe it's... Or maybe, yeah, like you said, if you've been doing a lot of walking today, yeah. <laughs> it's probably saying enough is enough. <laughs> Let me relax. <laughs> yeah, so you can you can get little sachets that you can buy from Boots if you um like isotonic. Oh right, okay. Things that you know walkers and runners well runners usually have. So yeah, maybe, I think we've maybe, probably got some from when Rob used to do lots of cycling. I probably yeah in my yeah water probably bottle. yeah. Yeah, it might be worth giving it a go and, and seeing how you how that does. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Lovely. And Jean, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, um, thanks to you both for joining me. <laughs> so not just right, you. Right. Yeah. And um well, Emma, I'll see you on Wednesday. All You're right, yes. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. and um Jean I'll hopefully see you next Monday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. Have are you fun. walking on Saturday, Jean? No. All right, okay. <laughs> I, need to I need to tell um, uh, Claire. No, I've got yeah. a family birthday in London. So. All yeah. right, we'll have yeah. a lovely day. Yeah. All right. Cool. All lovely right. to see you both. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Thanks Bye, for coming. <laughs> oh, where am I? There, leave. <laughs>